Hey, this is Bruce Cook, and I'm just making an update video on my uh, pepper plants for the 2021 season. Um, I do have some plants that are um, kind of desperate to get transplanted and put outside, but here where I'm living in Georgia, it's just still too darn cold, especially in the mornings, um, to be putting anything outside. It was, it's <clears throat> getting cold enough. It would kill these plants instantly, so um, I didn't anticipate these plants getting so big within the two month period since I've sown these seeds. But um, just show you what um, what's gonna be getting transplanted uh, as soon as I can is gonna be, uh, one is uh, my chocolate bootla DMs. Um, again, these seeds, uh, this time around, I got them from Jimmy Pickles. So um, uh, this uh, more guaranteed that I'm getting uh, the seeds that the seller claims they're gonna be since Jimmy Pickles does have uh, quite a bit of uh, good feedback from his buyers. So, um, I got a few of these chocolate bootla DMs. As you see, uh, they're, uh, uh, it's grown up quite a bit. Now, let's see if, uh, if I get a little distance from this thing, do it more justice. See, I'll show you how big these things are getting. But, um, well, here's a uh, chocolate bootla. I have, uh, I think these are all chocolate bootlas on the side. Yeah. Um, except for the ones in the back. Those are like the red and orange habaneros that I, I'm growing from seeds from peppers I got at the grocery store. Um, there's a 7-Pot Primo. Um, I think pretty much uh, at least one of every variety, well, a few, uh, a couple of every variety that I bought from Jimmy Pickles uh, has uh, grown in size quite a bit. Um, I know I got a few Carolina Reapers in here. Yep, there's a Carolina Reaper. That, you see this one I'm handling right now, that's growing up quite a bit. There's a few lagging behind a little bit, but they're growing uh, uh, slowly but surely. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I know I have uh, Primo Italian here. So um, just to go over what I have growing in here is the uh, um, red habanero, the orange habanero, uh, chocolate bootla, Carolina Reaper, seven pot Primo, uh, chocolate Murga scorpions, and uh, the Primo Tally. And, uh, of course, I have uh, a cayenne plant, a cayenne pepper plant that I uh, <coughs> kept growing during the winter time. Just kept it in my indoor grow box. And it's also putting out slowly but surely, not nearly as uh, much as uh, the other plant that I had uh, that I was picking peppers off of drying for my uh, roommate. Because he likes uh, cayenne uh, pepper powder in his food uh, once in a while. <coughs> and then... Uh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, feeding these uh, couple plants um, here in a little bit. The other plants uh, don't need to be fed for another day. But here's my chocolate Murga scorpion. Um, I picked the last pepper that was on this thing yes uh, a couple days ago and uh, ate it. It's just uh, I probably maybe got maybe six or seven peppers off of this thing during the winter time and. Um, I don't think there's any uh, viable flowers on it right now. But I'm going to be putting that, uh, transplanting it into a bigger container and putting it outside when the time comes. Um, I did have a problem with aphids in here. Um, I used uh, soil from uh, from last season. I had it bagged up, uh, you know, put an extra uh, garbage bag in my shed. And uh, when I brought it in and used it, um, uh, it apparently there was uh, aphids that had, got, that had gotten into it. And uh, I've exterminated them once, at least so I thought. And there's uh, um, there's uh, some that are coming back. Uh, you could probably see them on uh, like this plant right here, one of my Carolina Reaper plants. Little tiny uh, green bugs, bugs that suck the chlorophyll out of the leaves. Not good. Um, I used uh, old neem oil I'd gotten from the rusted garden uh it seemed to work the first time around i didn't see any aphids for about a week now they're back but uh let's see um see if i can spot any primo tallies in here i know there's at least uh one or two primo tally plants that got uh as big as the uh first couple i just showed oh here we go there's a primo tally so i got um quite a few plants that are going to need to be transplanted and stuck outside. I'm going to be putting in them into those, uh, I, I don't know the exact size of them. They're like a third of a gallon size plant containers. 
And then uh, um, most of these, as I mentioned in our video, are going to eventually go into a two-gallon pot like what I had uh, in my uh, my other plants in uh, last season. And uh, one of each of these varieties I'm going to transplant until they're finally in either a five or a ten-gallon uh, plant container. And uh, I'll be uh, getting uh, plant cages for them as well. And I'll be putting this one back outside you know, once it's warm enough. I don't know what this is. Uh, I did a review of the one single pepper that was on this uh, when I found it still alive outside with one pepper and almost no leaves on it. Um, but it was an orange pepper. It was supposed to be a Trinidad Murga scorpion. Um, it was definitely a super hot. It was up there in heat, <clears throat> somewhere between a ghost and a reaper. Um, and it was a pretty delicious pepper, but um, it wasn't red. I don't know if that was just a mutated pepper. Uh, you know, different colored uh, uh, skin on the pepper. It was orange. Um, so, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll get this into a bigger pot eventually and uh, see what it puts out on a larger scale. Um, later today, too, um, this was uh, overdue. I was going to uh, review the, this old um, hot sauce that was on a lineup of hot ones a couple years ago. Um, what's it called? Uh, Dragon in the Clouds. I got it from a coworker of mine. It had already been opened. I used it. Uh, I used some of it, and uh, I just I've been putting it off, just because uh, I didn't like the taste of it. And even though it's not a pepper extract based sauce, it's it was pretty darn hot. Um, but I'll give a review uh, a little bit later today once I get some uh, food in my stomach, because that stuff uh, it, it hits my stomach kind of like uh, the way extract does. So, um, but that's my review for now, or my update, and uh, I'll have another video, as I said, uh, in a little bit. So, until then, catch you later.